fancy that? The three of you working together. Yeah. You're a crew. Nope, not, not a crew. together. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most bingeable shows of the year. Keep in mind that we aren't ranking them on quality, but rather how likely you are to finish them in a single sitting. What? What? What is your problem? What? Number 10, Silo Season 1. A sci-fi epic with Rebecca Ferguson? Sign us up! Based on a buzzworthy book series, Silo follows a woman who begins to question why society is forced to live underground. And that is really all we can say without diving straight into spoiler territory. Trust us, this is the kind of show you want to go into knowing as little as possible. You let everyone in the silo know what you don't do is say the words that get you sent out there to die! Watching the tightly written mystery slowly unspool episode after episode is downright addictive. Throw in top-tier production values and hard-hitting political commentary, and it's no wonder Silo is so mesmerizing. That must have cost you a fortune. Yeah, worth every credit. After all, it's saying something when 10-hour-length episodes still don't feel like enough. <laughs> Number 9. Sex Education Season 4 Four seasons in, the awkward hijinks of Otis Milburn haven't gone limp yet. If anything, it's only gotten better with age. There is another sex therapist on campus. <laughs> Thanks to the show's tendency to push the envelope, sex education bows out with all the heart, humor, and promiscuity that viewers have come to expect. The only real issue is trying to savor it. With just eight episodes a season, sex education feels like it's made to be watched in bulk, especially this final batch. May the best sex therapist win. That would be me. You'll laugh, you'll cry, and before you know it, you'll already be watching the credits for the last time. Did that really just happen? Yes. Oh. Number 8. Harley Quinn Season 4 Being bad has never been so good. Then again, at this point, is anyone surprised? Hello! Was my pose not dramatic enough? Harley Quinn spent three seasons becoming one of the most delightfully entertaining programs on the market, and Season 4 is no different. That's not to say nothing's changed, though. On the contrary, this new run of episodes shakes up the series' status quo with exceedingly hilarious results. Superheroes all have secret identities! All my identities are public! Don't worry, it's still as unapologetically raunchy as ever. But there's a newfound sense of progression to go with all the bloodstained violence. Suffice it to say, this season of Harley Quinn is the joke that keeps on giving. Okay, but you should know that your rage is making your forehead wrinkles pop! Don't look at me! Number 7. Abbott Elementary Season 2 Class is officially in session, and we could not be happier. Airing the latter half of its second season in 2023, Abbott Elementary continues to be A-plus sitcom entertainment in every single metric. Yes, that is huge, but uh, I got two sign-ups for After School Podcast Club. Oh, two. Two? Wow, that, that's enough to tango. Do you like well-rounded characters? Optimistic storylines? How about well-meaning comedy? Abbott Elementary has it all, meaning there's always a reason to tune back in, assuming you have the willpower to hit pause in the first place. Every call is like the length between Netflix seasons. It's like, I don't remember what happened on last season of Stranger Things. That was 10 years ago. There's truly no other show out there, comedy or not, that scratches the same joyful itch as Abbott Elementary. Just be warned. If you binge too fast, you'll be left waiting for more episodes like the rest of us. After School Crew is back, baby! Not that. All right. Number 6. One Piece Season 1 To put it nicely, live-action anime adaptations don't have the greatest reputation. But despite the odds, Netflix proved everyone wrong with a compulsively watchable trek to the high seas. Gun the gun! One Piece successfully translates the tone of its source material into the live-action space, complete with staggering set design and slam-dunk casting. For those who can't commit to an anime with a thousand episodes and counting, this is a worthwhile toe in the water. But Netflix's One Piece isn't just brief in comparison. It's genuinely engaging from start to finish. Let's go! <laughs> yes! Whether you're a longtime fan or setting sail with the Straw Hats for the first time, One Piece has you covered. Oh, not bad, boy. Not bad. 
Number five, Jury Duty Season One. The verdict is in. This is your next weekend binge. Jury Duty consists of one season with eight half-hour episodes. If that's not a recipe for a lazy Friday night on your couch, we don't know what is. The series is about Ronald Gladden showing up for, you guessed it, jury duty. I humble myself before you. Thank you for being I watched you. Sonic last night, dude. You did last night. The catch? Unbeknownst to Ronald, everyone else, from the jurors to the bailiff to the judge, is a paid actor. From there, the show evolves into an off-kilter romp that really has to be seen for itself. You know, I always said that a man should stand up and take ownership of their mistakes. <laughs> like yesterday at the party when Ross admitted to lying about his wife, Sonia. Part meta-comedy, part reality show, and part courtroom drama, you can rest easy knowing jury duty never overstays its welcome. I mean, maybe this is common, I don't know, but I feel like this, is, this can't be that common because just crazy stuff keeps happening. Number four, Star Trek Strange New Worlds season two. There's nothing strange about it. Star Trek is back and better than ever. Taking place a decade before the original series, Strange New Worlds brings back Pike, Spock, and Number One for some good old-fashioned self-contained adventures. Good to have you back, Number One. Good to be back, Captain. That's right, there's no overly complicated ongoing narrative, and that's a good thing. In fact, the show's commitment to episodic storytelling is exactly what keeps us coming back for more. Each episode is its own mini-movie, with the breathing room to really dig into its themes and conflicts. We must steal the Enterprise. Since it's constantly changing its formula, too, Strange New Worlds is the rare Star Trek show that's tailor-made for back-to-back -back viewings. To the Vulcan, who acts nothing like a Vulcan. <laughs> Number three, Beef Season One. What starts as a bout of immature road rage transforms into a propulsive dark comedy about love, pettiness, and red-stained vengeance. Hi. Hi. In a nutshell, that's B for ya. Without giving too much away, the show it starts as is not the one you end with. But discovering how it gets from A to Z is half the fun. Well, that and the infectious chemistry between lead Steven Yun and Ali Wong. Any time they're on screen together is positively electric. Okay, but only if you apologize for honking at me. You started this. Me? Yeah. Okay. Combine that with a story designed to keep you on your toes, and it's no surprise that many opted to eat all of beef in one go. Everything fades. Nothing lasts. Number two, Only Murders in the Building, season three. Throw the pitch away. This cast list should be all the convincing you need. In season three, Selena Gomez, Martin Short, and Steve Martin return as the Arconia's resident murder investigators. But this time, they're joined by Paul Rudd and Meryl freaking Streep. And they both chew scenery like there's no tomorrow. Cobra knows a fellow snake when he sees one. <laughs> That's without even mentioning the season's gruesome murder. As per usual, it is twisted, fun, and just absurd enough to work. Then, whenever the case starts to stall, Only Murders drops a cliffhanger guaranteed to leave your jaw on the floor. Take notes, everyone. This is the prime example of a series that always leaves you craving one more. You can't let death stop you from living, kid. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I think you should leave with Tim Robinson season three. It's six episodes of unhinged comedic genius. Need we say more? And you're definitely not gonna get this thing. Because <laughs> I saw that thing. Shrinking season one. Come for the star-studded cast, stay for the heartwarming storytelling. Whenever I need it, I put on one of my favorite sad songs and just let myself grieve for 15 straight minutes. The other two season three. This criminally underrated comedy exits with lots of laughs. So you just didn't watch it? No, I didn't have two movies in me. <laughs> that makes That's sense. True. Blue Eye Samurai. This beautifully animated actioner goes by faster than you can say samurai. I love a gun like that. You can tell me who sold it to you. Elite Season 7. Several years in, Elite continues to be the epitome of a captivating teen drama. Hay toda una fiesta. Para ti esperándote. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number 1. The Fall of the House of Usher Despite being presented in bite-sized installments, this is less of a miniseries and more of an eight-hour horror film. As such, it practically demands your attention all the way through. To the lucky usher who figures out who's talking to the feds. 50 million cash, no strings, no taxes. That's true whether you're a fan of the original short story or not. In a brilliant creative swing, The Fall of the House of Usher layers in Easter eggs and plot points from Edgar Allan Poe's other famous works. All of this really starts there, in that office. Altogether, it turns what could have been an average fright fest into a deeply enthralling saga. You may need to watch it through your fingers, but The Fall of the House of Usher won't have you reaching for the remote, that's for sure. I'm sorry. It's not personal. It wasn't with your brother either. Which 2023 show did you binge the fastest? Let us know in the comments below. It's not what's out there, it's what they want us to think is out there. What's that? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.